Riddick and Travis Perry. Coach, comment. Well, it obviously didn't end the way that we wanted it to end. Um, but somebody told me, I don't know, a couple months ago, if you get the opportunity to play in the state tournament, you know, any season that ends at Rupp Arena is a good season. There's no bad finishes <clears throat> when you end somewhere like it, especially for, for Lyon County. So, you know, we we obviously wanted to win. Um, you know, our guys played hard. That's a, that's a really good Covington Catholic team over there. No secret about that. I was watching film all night last night and all the scouting trying to decide, you know, what to take away. Um, what are we going to try to take the guard play away, keep them out of the middle? We're going to try to take um, Riley and Starks away. I mean, you just can't take everything away. I mean, that team's – that team's got everything, and they're so well coached, and uh, it's, you know it's, it's just a really good team. And so it was going to take a really good, you know, special night for us to be able to beat those guys tonight. And, but <clears throat> I couldn't be any more proud of our team. Um, you know, good, great group of guys, great group of seniors. Um, you know, just a, just a real special group, and we couldn't be any more proud of them. I think if we'd have won that game by 15 points, I'm not sure that. We would have been more proud of the way that they finished this game in a loss. So, you know, we love these guys. We're really proud of all of them. Right here on the side. Ryan, these guys have shown a resiliency all year long. Again, tonight they showed that. I mean, every time it looked like Covington Catholic was about to pull away, your guys fought back. Talk about that, that heart and resiliency from this bunch. I mean, they're just winners, you know. We just have a team full of a big group of winners. And that's what winners do. You know, they don't always do it the same way. They don't, it's not always pretty when they do it. You know, it doesn't look the same every time. But the result's usually the same. And it's one more point for the other team. These guys are winners. Uh, they have been ever since I've been around them. Tonight, they were just up against, you know, a little more than a little more than what we were able to, you know, to do. But you know, we're gritty, resilient, every word you can think of that that is uh, close to that is what all these guys are. They're all they're all winners. So I mean, you know, they're just it's, it's just it's just a great group. I hear. Coach, um, we were able to turn the rebounding game in your favor a little bit. I think initially it was eight to three then, and then uh, it ended up being I think thirty one to twenty six in your favor. Um, what were you wanting to do, and uh, how were you able to do it tonight? Well, it was real simple. Uh, the whole first quarter and a half. We thought that we could rebound like we normally rebound and out jump everybody else. You know, so we played a quarter and a half and couldn't get a rebound because we were trying to go up over the top of Mitchell and, and um, Starks and get all those guys in. And so finally when we got up in the timeout, convinced them that, you know, you're gonna actually get this game, you're gonna have to box out, you're gonna have to displace the guy and get space and try to let the ball bounce in front of us and let us go get it. Then we started getting rebounds. So it was you know, that's something that that's probably on me. I probably should have had that uh, I probably should have had a conversation in pregame with these guys because I mean, Covington Catholic, you know, offensive rebounds, they live there. Uh, they're so good on the board. They're so quick off their feet. And that's really, that's on me. I mean, I should have had that. We had so many things that we were trying to prep for. We didn't have that conversation. And that might have been a different ball game if we would have had that conversation because we got, we got hurt bad on the boards right there in the beginning. But, you know, we got it right with the guys and, and you know, got it right down the stretch. But that's, that's what it was. I mean, our guys just thought they could go up and, and, and go over the top of these guys and rebound. And, and this world with these guys, that didn't work. Right here on the corner. Right here. Like walk us through those the last few seconds there. You go down four after the free throws and, and just what, you know, maybe what the plan was, what you thought maybe you could pull off. Yeah, well, we, uh, <clears throat> let's see, we made the three pointer in the corner to, uh, to tie the game, went down, gave up a, a three. On the other end, and that kind of that kind of set in motion. You know, we felt really good about our, ourselves, and, and we go down and get down three again. But we fought back, and there at the very end, we were just trying. We were trading. We were trading buckets. We, it was. We were so far down in the foul count that it took us, you know, 21 or 22 seconds to get to the bonus. We had three fouls, I think, whenever we needed to start. Um, you know, trying to so like it really puts you behind the eight ball because in a situation like we were in, we needed to either be able to trap or get the steal or foul if we didn't put them on the line. And they were killing the three or four seconds every time while we were trying to steal the ball. We were trying to steal it before we fouled. And it really, you know, that caused us, that, that foul count right there caused us some problems trying to, trying to catch up. But, um, you know, we had guys go down and get some buckets there at the, uh, 
at the end, there were big shots. We just couldn't get a steal. And, and in the moment, you know, we had a couple of plays. We had a 50-50 ball where Braden dove up in the middle to try to, to try to get the ball and go the other way with him. I think he got hung up with the other guy and he couldn't quite get to it. But we didn't get that 50-50 ball. And, you know, just a couple of, you know, a couple of things. But we, we were just trying to get a steal. On the end? Okay. Uh, hey, Ryan, first thing I, I, I would just like to say, I want to congratulate you and your team for the effort that you put forth out there tonight. It was a valiant effort. Travis, this question is for you. Uh, we looked completely down and out with just a few seconds left in the game, but yet you come down the floor and made two huge shots for us that, that literally made Catholic realize, hey, this game is not over. And you just being a sophomore and Jack, you just being a sophomore. What do you two guys, and specifically you, Travis, because you made the two big shots that took it right to the last second of the game, basically. Uh, what are you going to take from this experience of these two games and this kind of the mecca of high school basketball in the state of Kentucky? Oh, yeah, really, um, it just came down to being competitors out there. I mean, uh, we went out there uh, before the game. We, we knew we were coming out, and, I mean, we're obviously playing a team that Lyon County normally wouldn't even have a chance against, but uh, – we came out there and we fully thought we were the better team. We thought we were going to go out there and play hard, take it to them, uh, play our game, be aggressive, be the aggressors in that game. And I feel like we did a good job, did a good job of that when we got kind of settled in there, started making a couple shots. And But yeah, um, just the competition of it. I mean, we're playing out there on the rough arena in front of thousands of people. I mean, it's an experience you don't get every day. So it's pretty awesome out there. But um, yeah, just made a couple shots there, uh, missed a steal down two by about probably an inch from my arm was an inch long. We were shooting a layup and we're tied up going to the overtime right there. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm so proud of our team, how, how we fought, how we played down to the end. And uh, just proud of our seniors, proud of everybody, one through 15, just how we played the game. That's all for you guys. Right here in the middle. Jack, can you expand on what Travis said? You know, I've seen, oh, well, actually you were the post, so I want this question for you. Um, bottom line is, you know, with Link NKY, my name is Mike, by the way. Um, we've I've seen Cupcat consistently throughout the postseason. Dan over here on the end has seen them throughout the season. A lot of times at halftime, they're up by 20 or 30 points. You guys were in it to the very end. What's that say about the result and how you guys mainly were not afraid of them? You know, we've worked hard all year. You know, we come into this game not being scared of whoever we play. We know we're, we can hold our own with pretty much anybody. So I think we had confidence in ourselves and, you know, that kind of pushed us to end in those close games. I like all four of you to weigh in on this one. Uh, you came here carrying the banner of a small school, small town, small county, and by the end of the night, you had rough arena rooting for.